the same in 2000. Uh, the double minded issue in Japanese society. So, as a matter of uh, introduction, I would like to again define the double mind uh, theory. What is it? So, <clears throat> the term double mind comes from the Greeks word, uh, Greeks word, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, <laughs> sorry. So, um, meaning a person with two minds or two souls. So this can imply a conflict between two persons' minds. And uh, that's it. So since I've been interested in Japan and its culture and media for a long time, and I've been living in Japan for several, several, several months now, so I have been notifying, uh, um, sorry, I've been notifying an issue uh, in Japan, the government issue. Uh, so, the one main issue that I would like to talk about today is the expression of feeling in Japanese society and how Japanese people feel these feelings. So, okay. so, in Japanese society, there is two emotional words, so, tatemae and hon honne. So, tatemae, or building your front, represents the mindset and communication style of most people in Japan when they are anywhere in the public eyes, meaning that you do not express directly what you think or you feel. Um, you have to canalize your emotion, not showing it with the fear that it may hurt or offend other person. So as you are in front of people, you have to build a wall between you, between uh, your true self and the person in front of you. In contrast, there is the honne, uh, or true sound in English, uh, refers to a person's true feelings and desire that they express in the private, private world. This is what you show in your, to your closest friends or family, for example. So with this definition of these two words, we can already see in which way Japan, Japanese people uh, live in a double-minded society and as they are co continuously subject to these two emotional words. So however we can think about this emotional Construction. He ask, <coughs> uh, why this, why this duality exists within Japanese society? When did it take place, and what are the consequences? So first, why this duality? So those two emotional worlds coexist in today's society as they are essential for it, for the society well-being. Well as a result of too many people living in the same in a, in a small country. Tatemai and Honne are essential in their life as a way to avoid conflict and offenses, to preserve peace and social, social, uh, social harmony. So the, the, uh, this idea of harmonious and peaceful society comes from Confucius. During, the, during times of civil war and in interfell strife in China, he had drawn up a plan of, for society driven not only by the self-interest and greedy of power individuals, but driven by a selfless member of a group sacrificing their own desire for the common group. This society would be Yako, Yer, Yak, I don't know how to pronounce this. Yako, I don't know. Uh, in which all, in which all were satisfied, whether at the top or the bottom of the pyramid and fulfill their duties to the best abilities. Confucius had a great influence in Japan before and after his death, and has influenced a lot of Japanese values and values, uh, Japanese and Shinto values. These values still relevant as Shinto is still one of the biggest religions in Japan and was construed around these values. That's why we can see nowadays that society is still hierarchically and rhetorically constructed. As a matter of fact, this type of vertically constructed relationship always existed in Japan. That's why, that's, and that's in this type of relationship that tatamai is most often used. So, when do tatamai and honne take place? So, as I said, the tatamai is used vertically in vertically constructed relationship, but for a better understanding of usage, you should focus on how the relationship in Japan are construct, construct. So there is two words again. So Soto and Yoshi. This represents what belongs to the private circle and what's its outside. 
was outside in the in the city, private relationship, uh, uh, equally constrict relationship at work, for example, it's a classroom to refer to one professor. <coughs> this determines the way of communication to one person while creating a market distinction between the different groups. So uh, subtle means outside represent people outside of your period circle, for example, co-occur, neighborhood. Uh, UC means uh, represent inside means people who are close to you. For example, uh, Gai Kokoji will never be in the neon dream group uh, and will always be seen as the um, as, uh, Gai Kokoji coming from the outside. Therefore, there is an important notion of belonging that explains why in certain situations that a way will be used as a society is completely vertically and divided between the Soto and the Ushi. The most common place where Tatewa is used in and where are the most example is from the working world as this as there is a curricular structure in which everyone has the as a superior. In the working world you are supposed to please your superior to give yourself a great image by fulfilling your task and always accept the request from your superior. Even if you are tired, already working overtime or supposed to leave. That's why staying over time at and sleeping at work, at work late at night is seen as a good thing as it shows how, how hard and how much you work. But that may have consequences. So what consequences? So smile, smile, smile mask syndrome is a psychological disorder proposed by Professor Nakamoto Natsume of Osaka, of Osaka Shui Women's University, in which subject develop depression and physical illness as a result of prolonged and unnatural smiling. <coughs> That's why I propose the disorder after counseling students from the university in his practice in his practice and noticing that number of students had spent so much time faking their smile that they were unaware that they were smiling even while rel relating stressful or upsetting experience to him. <coughs> That to me attribute this to the great importance placed on smiling in the Japanese service industry, particularly for young women. As waitress at the restaurant, expect to exact positive such as smiling, <coughs> exact positivity such as smiling and expressing positivity expression towards customer. Smiling is an important skill for Japanese women working in the industry. Al almost all service industry in service industry companies in Japan requires a female staff to smile for a long period of time. Natsume says that this female, his female patients often talk about the importance of smiling when the topic of the conversation is on, the, is on their workplace. A real example of patients saying that they felt smiling had a large effect on whether they were hired or not, and that their superiors are stressed, are stressed the effect that good smile had on the customer. According to him, his atmosphere sometimes causes women to smile unnaturally for a long time that like they are supposed to suppress their real emotion and become depressed. Smile mask, smile mask syndrome can cause physical problems as well as mental one. He relates that many of these patients develop muscle age and headache as a result of prolonged smiling and said that these are similar to the syndrome of repetitive strain pain. Also, we can think about how young people are supposed to build their own identity as they are expected to hide and put aside their true feelings. Only must not stand out and school children are confronted with a kind of formatting from a very young age. The group is more important than the individual and it's not good manners to express rejection or disapproval of a decision made for the harmony of the class. If this allows these future adults to be ready to interact with the compatriots, one way wonder if protecting the ability of children and young adults to express themselves could, could cause problems in the connective development of an individual. <coughs> Several studies tend to show that to show that this idealistic preparation of, of a child for adulthood with, could be boring, which can promote school dropouts. In the same way, the omnipresence of tatemae and just of single form of morality that of society could cause a reduction of the outer world and the part of these students or inability to confront other individuals in real life due to a lack of practice and pursuing their true feelings. Here we found the seed of many ills that like modern Japanese society. 
with its high rates of suicide among young people or the phenomenon of hikikikomori, which see some individuals deliberately choosing isolation and loneliness rather than having to master his tatemae and hide on it, which does not allow them to be fully who they would like to be. So now a part of you as a French person in Japan. So I think many people this class maybe already like lived maybe the tatemae, feel Put your hand if you feel you already experienced it. Okay, so many people. <laughs> because uh, even with young Japanese students, sometimes we can ask ourselves, oh, are they being genuine right now with us? Or are they being helpful because they want to help or just because they want to be polite? And I mean, sometimes we, we maybe we can overthink about what they can say to us or like uh, if they say yes, do they really want to say yes, or do they say yes because we, they want to be nice? Uh, I mean, that's kind of uh, a problem too. And I mean, I'm, I'm from France, and like seeing people like they can't say no is right, really uh, shocking for for me or for French people because if if in France you say no, you say no and you burn car. This is an example, for example, like you cannot in Japan you cannot express what you want, but in France you can express it. With so many things and so many uh, like demonstrating on the streets for saying no, and here in Japan you can never say no. You can you have to say oh choto because you can't say no. So I mean that's kind of like two different words, French and Japan. So if someone wants to talk to about the point of view of Japanese or how they express their feelings, or if you have an anecdote. Uh, you can say it. So one. I mean, I know all us Americans, we kind of feel like we can't really be exactly who we want to be, like ourselves. Even like certain slang words we talk like in America because we have slang words. We just have a way we act with the people who we love and, you know, we feel a certain type of way if we act like that in public because we don't want to look like the outcasts kind of thing. I definitely know, like, Americans can raise their hand when you like. We all agree. We all agree. <laughs> I think it's the same for every culture in that way. I mean, I can talk how I talk to my friend and friends in Japan. Because right. You feel that distance and it's not the same way they are. Exactly. So you all kind of think you are uh, canalize yourself? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, feel, I feel this too. Yeah, like when I was in Poland and I saw Polish people, I was kind of mad that they are like, because Polish people are very grumpy, like we are showing, we are angry all the, all the time. <laughs> we are like, friends, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, and like, and I sometimes like talk with my parents that, oh, like Americans are so like always positive and so gentle. And the same in, uh, in Japan, like people are always like smiling. And at the beginning, beginning I really like it because it's so nice to be, uh, like polite and everything, but then at the after one month, I feel like I prefer maybe these grumpy faces in Poland. <laughs> but <laughs> at least they are like I know they when they don't want to talk to me, I already know that. <laughs> I don't have to like think if I not like uh, pushing someone too much because they will like tell me straight away like okay that's enough I'm I'm going bye. <laughs> so yeah. I think it kind of adds to like what Tyler was saying about America when you said that American people are really nice. Because we are not. <laughs> but, but that's the thing about Americans when we're out in public or we see someone we don't know. We, ha we feel like we have to act nice. Yeah. And like American people are very... I, I don't know. Do American people just say yes to everything? I don't know. Because like, I don't know. Depends what region. Yeah. Yeah, but you're always like asking how you're doing. Like always like you seems to be interested in other people even though like you're not really I think that's because, you know, I think that's because a lot of people a lot of American people here are from the south aside from Tyler I think I think you're the only one from yeah. I mean, I could say like New York City 
mostly everybody's mad. Everybody's <laughs> so like, and a lot of people mind their business. I notice out here, like, it's not like to be mean or anything, but out here people don't mind their business. And maybe that's just a thing that I'm used to, like, just not staring at people, you know, just going in my own way, going in my own world. So it's like, I don't know, sometimes it is awkward when you're walking. I mean, I am black, so. <laughs> but it is kind of awkward sometimes when you just walk in and just like everybody's staring at you. Because I'm used to just like going my own way. Or and even like she was saying, like how everybody's happy, go lucky, and smiling. Like it is cool. But then after a while, you think, are these people faking? Like, are you really happy, or is it just like a like the fake smile syndrome? Yeah. So, uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs>